No, there was, there was no father. Um, I had a kind of like a father figure, um, a guy that I used to actually call him dad when I was like four or five years old, a, a guy that my mom was with. Um, he instilled some things in me, but, but for the most part, he wasn't really around like that. My real father, um, he pretty much left my mom, I think, when I was, I don't know, three, four months old. I, I'm, not, I'm not really sure. I, I, I only recently met him. Okay. He, he has a place out there, a, a lumber place out there in East LA, I think on 3rd Street or somewhere. Right. And I popped up on him when I got out. And uh, he didn't even know it was me, man. When I just went and I, I met him, he really didn't want... His, his side of the family, they don't even know about me. I, I wanted to kind of, you know, get to know him and all that, but he preferred to leave it as it is because um, uh, uh, he doesn't, he doesn't, um, he didn't want them to know about me. He wanted to keep it a secret, he, he basically. He didn't want to think about skeletons. Exactly. But I'm, 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 I'm thinking now that I have a son, I'm going to go pop up on, on him again and let him know that he, he owes some uh, child support. No, I'm just <laughs> but uh, no, nah, I'm, I'm gonna go take my, you know, take him his grandson, man. At least take a picture. And, right. Yeah. How, how about your mom? What uh, what kind of mother do you think and your mom was when you were younger? I had the best mom, still do. She's still here, you know. Thank God, she's 81 years old, man. She okay. just turned 81. Um, and uh, she was the best mom, man. Now, all the homies in the hood, they were like, man, you got a cool mom. She used to, she's one of the moms. She cooked for all the homies. Be like 10 dudes in the living room, man, and she'll cover us all in the night, you know, when we're sleeping. Right. Uh, but she was a, a working mom. She worked She worked in a convalescent homes all, all her life, um, and she worked nights a lot. So while she was out there working, we were in the we were home party, you know what I mean? Opportunity to act a fool. Yeah, exactly. So uh, it wasn't her fault, man. She tried it. She tried her, her best, right. but, you know. You, yeah, she's, you, just, she's just trying to put a rope over her head. Yeah, build, man. exactly. Unfortunately, just didn't have time to sit there and, yeah. and get And it. even if she did, man, even yeah. if she did You're at that age, it, that was it, man. Yeah. Like, she tried, man. Like, she tried. You know, first time she see my tattoo, I, I got a, a the neighborhood on my stomach. Right. And back then, I was small. There's, and it's, it was like, right. pfft, big white buster. And she was like, Ugh. So let's, uh, let's talk a little bit about your neighborhood, man. Uh, when did you guys uh, start? My neighborhood? Well, it all depends. The actual name, Lomas, um... Uh, to be honest, I'm not sure the exact. There's different, different. Uh, I guess opinions. Right. Uh, what have you heard? That I know of. Uh, early early seventies, maybe late sixties, early seventies, right. seventy one. But my neighborhood existed, I believe, before that under different names. That's what I heard. Um, but it actually took on the, with the name Lomas officially, I believe. Uh, one of my homeboys that I reached out to that I trust. His his uh, uh his info is um uh around seventy one seventy one okay. around there officially with the name but like I said I think it was around since way earlier and under what, different what names. part of uh what part of uh SGV was it when they really started the really well the heart of the hood is in South San Gabriel which is known as the hills right which I'm sure you're familiar with is you know the, the, is that where the stairs are at the eighty eight the, the eighty eight steps so exactly that's, that's where your neighborhood Pretty much yeah, that's the way. heart of the hood. That's yeah. the heart. I mean, it stretched all the way out into right. Rosemead and all that, but the heart of the hood is right there in South San Diego. Did, uh, did you have you ever discussed with any of your older homies why they started your neighborhood or how it really got going? Um, yeah, yeah, I, I have. Uh, just like pretty much any other neighborhood, man. You you got back then they used to have clubs and right. stuff like that and. And then you got clubs from the other city. Was it car the, clubs or? Yeah, uh, uh, yeah, either car clubs or, or just little, you know, little crews. Right. They wear the jackets and all right. that. And, and, you know, and then you got the other clubs and, and the other side of the freeway, stuff like that. And, and uh, um, you end up fighting. And, and then before you know it, boom, it ends up being, being a hood, man. And here we are now. Do, do you think that all those old clubs, whether it's your neighborhood, other neighborhoods that, that have become rivals, do you think they foresaw and seen that this was going to become what it came? All these years later, all these murders, all these killings. Do you ever think nah. they ever thought it was going to be that serious? No, nah, man. I, I think back then it was a lot more innocent. Yeah, there was stuff going on, but it was just it was just a, a camaraderie type of thing. But, right. I mean, if you take it back thousands of years, man, there's always been 
you know, tribe and, and people right. warring and, and, and fighting each other. But, um, no, nah, I, I don't think they looked at it. The, I, in, in, in fact, I believe if they did foresee that, they wouldn't want that. Like, right. you know what I mean? Little young 14-year-old driving around with AKs and, you know what I'm saying? Um, I, don't, I don't think uh, they, they would, they would uh, uh, approve of that or, or maybe it would have developed differently. Um, but that's at the same time, sorry to throw, I think it was the same thing like we were talking. They did, didn't know as well what it was. They were also misguided. And they were still trying to figure out what was going on over here. Yeah, it's kind of like, like, uh, uh, kind of like the like the blacks, man. Remember back then, like they had the Black Panthers. They right. got all these old uh, clubs. Same thing. Right. And it was more to like for kind of like protection. For the people. F- you know, for the people, and and then it, it it evolved, man. Then you start bringing guns into the hood. Drugs. You start bringing drugs. And I believe, you know, I'm not really a conspiracy theorist. I used to be more of a conspiracy theorist, but it's not a conspiracy, man. Drugs, guns, and all that, they, they, were, they, were, they were purposely flooded into the streets, man, to, to, to uh, create crime, to create poverty, to create business, man. Well, yeah, it, it was just, uh, of course, the minorities. They, they really exactly. did shit. They, they let it happen. Yeah. Uh, and I think once it started spreading out of the minority cities, that's when they said, whoa, whoa, we need to yeah, do this. Yeah, yeah, they... they that was it, man. They created a monster. Yeah, and, and still to this day, man, it's still, still, still affecting the communities. I understand that you're Christian. Is there any neighborhood out there that you still hold animosity towards? No. I mean, I think I'm pretty much free of that. There, I'm sure if, if I seen, like, one of my main rivals uh, from back then... Who knows, man? Like maybe some of that old stuff would serve, especially certain individuals that, you know, maybe we we're trying to, <laughs> we we're trying to uh, 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 get each other back then. Right. But I think I've I've been walking with the Lord enough now where where, uh, you know, I I can I can, you know, I can overcome that and 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 like I said earlier, use it as as an opportunity to uh, share my testimony, man, and and share what God has done in my life, and uh, you know, just just maybe even. You know, uh, create some type of peace between us. I think I've lost many, many homies. I'm, well, actually, back when I was young, when I was a youngster, when I when we lost my homeboy Chico and Andy, that was my first homie that I actually really lost. That were my friends that I and I was young. That one hit me hard. But my homeboy Triste, uh, Fernando, uh, rest in peace. He he, you know, we're 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 good friends, man, and and uh, and just. When 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 he died and how it happened, like he got killed in the shower. He was in the shower when, he, when they killed him, and just that one really uh, hit us, man. Me and, and and a lot of my my homeboys, uh, it, it 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 like something changed, man. Something just it it was it, it hit us pretty hard. Um, there's there's a lot of bad is bad it, moments, you know. You start losing so many homies. I mean, not to say it doesn't, you don't feel it uh, the same, but it's never. The same, like you said, as that first time. Because that first time, especially like when you're young, it's like you never felt that feeling before. You might have had someone from your family, pet, but like someone, you start thinking like, man, that could have been me. And, 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 and it, just, it, it just hits home in a whole different way as, like you said, you start. You start because they're the same age group. Yeah, same age group. And you kind of start getting numb to that. It becomes like a normal thing, man. The next homie's. So, so let me ask you a little bit more about your neighborhood. Uh, when you got in, what clique uh, were you from? You guys had different cliques? Actually, we don't have no cliques, bro. Cliques, no, nah, huh? there used to be cliques. Okay. There used to be cliques, and they stopped it. Um, I'm not sure why, maybe, because there was a lot of... Yeah, cliques. maybe. And we're actually one of the only hoods that I know. There's not too many hoods that don't have cliques. Yeah. And no girls. We don't have no girls and no cliques. The only girls that we have are, like, from back in the day... And those are, I consider them homegirls. Some of them are like, you know, they're, they're like, uh, how could I say? Uh, they're more like homeboys than homegirls. Yeah, yeah. If, if you catch my drift, you know what I mean? But, but, uh, uh, but no, there came a time where, they, where, where the homies said, that's it, man. No, no, no women, no, no girls, no around, clicks, no, no girls. Do you know around what year that was when that happened? That might have been, uh, might have been, I, I, I don't time? know. Yeah, it was before my time. So early early in, 80s, maybe. When, you were in, when was... I got in, there was no girls, nah. No girls, no oh, clicks. No clicks, no clicks nah. Normal. We actually, um, 
it was a like in 2003, a very crucial time in my in my uh, 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 time where we kind of had our we kind of started our own little like a little four man click. Right. Uh, but but uh, technically, nah, we we don't we don't got no clicks. It was just like our little our little crew that we had. When when you were when you were in your neighborhood, let's say since you were around like uh, eight nine years old or nine years old. Uh, would you kick it up in that hill part, the 88 steps? Is that where you used to kick it at too? Yeah, that was that was one of you know that was one of our main spots, man. A lot of memories up there. How 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 active was that place? Because I could imagine you homies kicking yeah. it up there and doing exactly the way you imagine it, bro. Just homies up and down, you know, everybody drinking, girls. Did, did some of your homies live in those houses out there? Yeah, actually, my my uh, my homeboy Menace lived down there, and uh, uh, you guys might know him. He, he was a, a rapper. Um, okay, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, my good homie, man. Uh, he lived. He actually lived at the bottom of the steps, in the first house, man, down there. So that made it even more. That was like a, our little spot. You know, now, now that we went out there, me and Sonny, and took all kind of pictures on your neighborhood, I could definitely imagine you guys kicking. I see some of the older pictures that your your water has. Is you guys, you know, you guys are old school, man. Mm-hmm. But now, what tripped me out more, but it also confirmed me how gentrified that area is becoming, man. You guys oh, yeah. our homes now. There, it's, I mean, that, but that's the same story. About everywhere, city, yeah, city, everywhere. City, Especially, I think in my neighborhood, it started happening before you even looked at that, like gentrification. It was happening because there's a lot of uh, Asians. I don't know if you noticed, but yeah. there's that's like a Asian uh, hub right there, Monterey Park, especially. But they started right. migrating more. Rosemead. I grew up with nothing but Mexicans and Asians, man. There was no blacks, hardly no whites. There was a few whites, uh, but it was predominantly Mexican and Asian and. Uh, 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 they started just like I said, my buying up all the businesses. Yeah, well, we're busy fighting each other for a block we don't own. Yeah, and we're buying the houses. Yeah, exactly. The businesses and taking over little by little. Yeah, and that was actually one of our uh, uh, our main enemies too. Is the uh, uh, the Asian boys that that came out from there. Was there was a there's actually a lot of gangs, Asian gangs where I grew up. Yeah. But they weren't. That wasn't their hood. They grew up there. Right. But they didn't consider that because. They weren't like territorial. The only ones that try to claim like, like that was their neighborhood was Asian boy. That's that's why we went at it with them. But there was a lot of other Asian gangs, like they, black most, dragons. Most watch. Of the Asian gangs would go at it with each other. Yeah, they'd go at it with each other, and they weren't about territory. Like they know, like that was our our neighborhood. You right. can't just post up right here, like you know. That's another thing I think people don't understand is in the nineties, eighties, seventies. I think it started dying like. Early 2000s, man, like how homies would post up in blocks, man. I oh, mean. yeah, well, the 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 law, I mean, that, that had a lot to do with it, but also, um, you know, people dying, man. You can't just, you know, you're, you're an open target. You're an open target. Uh, back then, it was more pride, too, like, there's the hood. We're right here, you know what I mean? And you got homies ready, you know what I mean? You got your little spots and... and uh, uh, you're just, you know, you're ready. You're ready for, for whatever, man. How has drugs affected your neighborhood, whether it's positive or negative? Negative, bro. There's nothing positive about about that, man. Uh, drugs have, have uh, devastated uh, a lot of lives, man. Families, especially when the mess started coming around. But even back then, man, the, the crack, you know what I mean? The, that was, there was times... I remember the we call it the the booyah days, man. Smoking that's what we called it in my neighborhood, booyah, smoking booyah. Uh I was I was smoking that. It was like now it wasn't like smoking crack, like oh he's a crackhead. It was like it was, it was a thing to do in the whole hood. We'll be like in the bleachers, I remember in a, uh, one of our elementary schools, everybody, man. Everybody just puffing away, man. We used to go to downtown LA, get the four for twenty, you know what I mean? And uh uh yeah, man, it was it was vicious. But you know the 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 heroin, <laughs> the heroin is, is is that's a cold drug, man. Um, that goes way back. Right. But then the meth, the meth, it, it it really that's when it really messed people's minds up, man. It messes up your mind, it messes you up in ways that that all drugs are bad, man. But the meth, it does something to you, man. Like you know, it's quick. It's quick, man, and and it it just turns in turns you into something that. You never thought you could be, man. A zombie, homeboy. Yeah, a zombie, and it, you start tripping. You start, you know. What I mean, I had a lot of episodes where I was tripping like that. You man. know, we're on the subject with that. Explain to people, because nowadays it's like uh, these younger homies have lost shame. I remember back in the days, 
you know, we're about the same age. You would have maybe a Otecato, 35 years old, living on the street, this and that, or maybe one homie that's kind of on his bicycle. Back then, homies would have cars, would work, this and that. You get high on the weekends. But nowadays, it seems like there's no shame, man. Nowadays, everybody can smoke, everybody can be homeless, and it's like a different. I don't know where the value of it well, ever was real good morals. Well, we, 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 my neighborhood, we were strict sometimes on certain things. Like back then, if you were a youngster, you couldn't be doing heroin, man. Like that was that was you're you're gonna get you're gonna get touched up if if you're messing with that stuff. Now it's a little more uh, lenient. There's 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 really nothing like that. And then yeah, there was there might have been a little little time where um, even after the Buya days later on, uh, I would I even fall up under that umbrella where me and my certain homies we we still be doing our little we you know we'd be doing our thing. But late at night, you know what I mean? We're 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 doing the the buya thing, and 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 um, that was certain homies start looking down up upon that. You know what I mean? I remember my my homeboys uh, they used to slit. They were the homies that you know what I mean? They had everything, man. They were the ones that had all the straps, had all, and they used to look down on us. But then they were you know what I mean? They were smoking p dogs and you know like you ain't doing it. You're doing the same thing I'm doing. You know? I mean, it's, What's it's the difference? Homies, but it's almost like a father telling his son you can't do that. Well, you're already yeah, right. Like this. Like, so you know we had that little, um, and then there might have been a little a little era where where you know the, the scante was looked down on and all that. But for the most part, you're right. Like a lot of those morals, they kind of they kind of dwindled away, man. They dwindled away with with time. Mm-hmm.